For a ball in free fall or anything in free fall under the influence of gravity alone, uh, we just draw gravity. So force down, label it F sub G, and that it is it. There is no normal force. There's no friction. Uh, it says ignore air resistance. So that is it. Uh, B, a sled being pulled to the right at constant velocity. So I'll use a, a rectangle for the sled. Um, so keyword is constant velocity. Um, so if you think the Newton's first law, uh, constant velocity means the forces have to be balanced. So there's going to be a, a pull to the right, it says. So a pull is usually a rope or something. So I'm going to label this as tension. But that has to be balanced since it's going at a constant velocity. So it's most likely friction. Uh, that's going to be going to the left. And I need to draw these the same size uh, so that they're balanced. I'm not sure I got the same size, but um, if I just put these little tick marks here, uh, that's the way to communicate they're the same size. Uh, I'm also going to assume this sled is on the earth or something, so there's gravity going down, uh, which also needs to be balanced by probably normal force going up. And gravity and normal will be equal to each other in magnitude, so I will put double ticks uh, to indicate that they are equal. C, a pole vaulter landing on a mat. So my intent for this question is, uh, it's like during the landing on the mat. So the mat is slowing him down. He's still going down, but uh, the mat is slowing him down. And eventually the mat will have him come to a stop. So for the pole vaulter, uh, I guess I'll use a box uh, for the pole vaulter. There's always gravity for anything with mass. So FG. So if, if the mat is slowing him down, so the pole vaulter is moving down, he's falling from hopefully a successful pole vault. Uh, so his velocity is downwards, uh, and the mat will serve to slow him down. Or her. Uh, so if he's slowing down, that means the acceleration's got to be in the opposite direction of the velocity. Uh, so therefore, the acceleration has got to be uh, in the upwards direction. And if the acceleration is in the upwards direction, then the net force has to be in the upwards direction. Uh, for Newton's second law. And uh, that means I have to draw this upward arrow longer than the force of gravity. So I'll call this the... Mm, I mean, I could call it the normal force, I guess. I'm going to call it the force of the mat. Because the mat's an awkward kind of surface. It gets squished. So I'll just call it the force of the mat. All right. Uh, last one, D. A shopping cart is pushed to the right, speeding up. Speeding up. So it's speeding up to the right. So it's accelerating to the right. Um, so if you're going to identify that it's accelerating to the right, uh, then the net force has to be to the right. I'll call that the applied force. There might be a little bit of friction, um, but it's got to be drawn shorter than the applied force to the right. And there's likely gravity and normal uh, that are going to cancel out, uh, but we still got to add them to the free body diagram. So I'll put tick marks there to show they're equal. All right, so those are just a few free body diagrams for practice.